Hey guys, Laura Longo here from lauralongo.com. I am um, going to give it a couple minutes for people to pop on and say hello. Um, if you say hello, if you come on, just say hello, say where you're calling in from, what you got going on today. Love to be able to interact with you. I am heading to the hospital. My grandmother, my nana, is um, not feeling good. So she was um, admitted to the hospital yesterday and I'm going to go see how she's doing with Luke got him in the car too so hoping she's feeling better today um, but I am on here today to uh, share the five biggest reasons to stop blasting your company's name all over social media so if you pop on just say hello where you're calling in from I am broadcasting this from my fan page so um, hoping some people from my personal page my marketing friends can can join me over here so if you do, just say hello, um, and then I'll get into the content. So, what are the top five reasons to stop blasting your company's name all over social media? So, most people are out there, and they, they know they have an awesome product, and their, their company might be amazing, and they don't really know or understand the best way to get it out there. I Believe me, I was, I was there, too. Um, because you get so excited that you have something so powerful, and you just want everyone to be able to know about it, right? But really when you do that especially in the way that social media has become so incredibly noisy over the past I would say two to three years really not going to be as effective as maybe it was a couple years ago okay so the first reason is one you know it raises you know when um, it raises resistance so and it, it does seem spammy you know the objective to marketing is to raise as little resistance as possible right you're blasting your company's name I mean if I feel resistant to people doing it and I love the industry and I might know that the person's products are awesome I and I feel that way then I'm I bet you there's a lot of people who aren't involved in the industry who feel the same way and it's kind of what not necessarily you know it, it can give the the industry a bad name if we're not marketing properly right okay so the second reason is when you don't blast your company's name you're creating curiosity okay and curiosity is a really good thing it's not that you're being not um, being open and upfront or, or hiding something from people but when you create curiosity you're attracting the right kind of people number one number two it creates an open loop in your audience's mind and if they don't uh, in marketing terms I guess is when you you just kind of have to figure you have to find out the rest of the story you have to figure out what the person's talking about and creating that open loop is more beneficial because then they're gonna most likely contact you to find out you know what company it is or how did this person get the results you shared or whatever it is right so you want to be able to create that open loop but if you create that open loop we'll get into number three the if you create that open loop and you share your company's name then how is your audience going to close that open loop? They're going to go to Google and they're going to type in that company's name and they're going to find information. Okay? And you really want to be the one in control of the process. You want to be able to support the person. Um, and so you're not allowing for that when you're blasting your company's name. Okay? She types in the, into Google and she finds what she's going to find. She's going to find possibly a, an article written blasting your company saying all these bad things that probably aren't true <laughs> and what she's gonna do is she's gonna make a judgment based on that and in and, and those and those articles already uh, usually are written by just you want them to be able to come to you you might never even know that that person was interested in the first place if they find that information um, somewhere else and alternatively um, number four if they do happen to type it into Google to close that open loop then you know they might love what they see um, chances are that they're gonna come across a lot of great information too so if they love what they see and maybe you haven't been in contact in a few years what are they gonna do they can go right to the website possibly and sign up there you would have never even known you would have never had the opportunity to support that person to build that relationship and to to grow your business together and that's not what you want either right so you want to be able to support the people you want to be able to create the environment where people feel that they will come to you so you can support them in their journeys so the fifth reason is super important because it's really important that you brand yourself instead of the company horrible as it is to think about and heaven forbid 
something were to happen to your company, what would you be where would you be if you are only promoting your company? Some things happen to network marketing companies just like they happen to traditional businesses from time to time and you, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're st you have to start from ground zero if something were to ever happen. And I shudder to think, you know, I shudder to think that something were to happen, but it does, it does, and you have to be prepared for it. So if you've developed a brand around your core values, who you are, it's going to be really simple to for you to continue your business no matter what happens to your company, okay? So basically, if you're not leading with value, if you're not leading with value and branding yourself that way, then you're not going to stand out from the crowd. And um, that's really what you want to do. So if you like these tips, um, I hope you got value from this. Um, please feel free to share. Share with your teammates. Share with your and anyone who you think that this could benefit. And if you enjoyed this, you know, head over to my blog. Um, my, my website is laralongo.com. And on the website, it, there is a free download. It's a free um, MP3 download and it explains the best way to respond when someone tells you they don't have the money for your offer. So if that's something that interests you, pop on over there and grab that MP3 totally free and I know how you like it. Again, if you like this, please feel free to share, comment. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts also. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Um, wish me luck with my grandmother. I hope she's feeling better and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.